Um, hello everybody, this is Music of Death here. Um, Old School actually just released on Steam, and with it brought a new client. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it has unlocked FPS, and you can log in with Steam, all sorts of stuff. You have Steam Overlay. Um, but it's not RuneLight, which is what a lot of people like. And there's actually a way to use RuneLight with Steam if you wanted to. Uh, and it's actually pretty easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, just go to your Steam games here. Uh, where old school is installed, I have it favorited, so it's just at the top. Um, just right click and go to properties, and then click local files and hit browse. This is going to bring up the directory where old school RuneScape is installed. Um, what you're going to want to do is go into bin and then Win64, and it's going to bring up this folder here where you have the actual executable that launches the client. So if I double click that, it launches it. What you want to do is just go ahead and delete that, and then you want to go over here uh, to where your rune light is installed. Um, and the easiest way to do that is just where the executable is, just right click and go to open file location. And it's going to bring up the folder where rune light is. You just want to copy all of this, and you want to go back to where the Steam client is installed, and you just want to paste all that in there. Uh, make sure you get the folder and everything that's in there. And then application here, RuneLight, not the executable jar file, but the application itself. Right click it and rename it to OS client. And that's actually all you have to do. Once that's done, we're just going to close these out. And when I go back into Steam here, I'm going to click play. And it's actually going to launch RuneLight. <laughs> Look how nifty that is. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, the only problem with this is that in the uh, every week the game updates, and uh, once it updates, you're gonna have to redo this every week. Um, since when Steam automatically updates it, it's gonna verify your files and re-add their client. Um, but it's it's really not that hard to do, and I think it makes it worth it. Um, so yeah, and you can actually use the Steam overlay and everything in here straight in Relight. How neat is that? Anyways, hope you guys find this video useful and thank you for watching.